You did it! I am so impressed with you that you chose to become a better individual, a better person. I am proud of you. Good job. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is the first steps on how to become the amazing person that you already are times a million. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Just think of that. Um, that you have the potential to become anything that you want to become. And this is how it works. It's been proven, and there's many, many books that talk about it, that whatever you think about, you will become. So we're going to train our brains to think about who you want to become. And train our minds to think about our strengths and our qualities so that we can become stronger individuals and more quality individuals. So today, what, to, actually tomorrow, let me say, tomorrow we're going to find a weakness that we need to improve. If you're going to change, if you're going to grow, we've got to find a weakness, right? Okay, but today, before we find our weakness, what we do first is we build up our self-confidence. And the reason why we do that is because people don't want to admit to their weaknesses or they don't want to own their weaknesses. They don't want to take control of their weaknesses if they don't have strength, if they don't have confidence. Um, a lot of arguments that happen when um, somebody is low in their self-esteem. And what can often happen is that somebody will criticize them or say something that they feel is criticism. And when they hear that, they will need to defend themselves. And so it will start an argument. If you argue a lot or if you have a lot of fights, I would like you to consider that you are not completely 100% in control of your confidence. You're not completely 100% in control of your faith in yourself. A person who is in control in their faith in themselves has more ability to take criticism and to, to be able to manage it. Manage that criticism and be able to work to make themselves uh, better from that criticism. So that's what we're going to do. That's the way to do it. Now, I'm not going to criticize you at all. I'm not going to. You already know your weaknesses. And they're probably dragging you down. And they're probably beating you up. And they're probably bruising you and, and hurting your heart. They're probably doing all those awful things. So I don't need to tell you what your weaknesses are. You already know what your weaknesses are. And this whole program isn't about uh, beating you up or anything like that. What it is is about strengthening you and empowering you so that you can become the strong, powerful, confident individual so that when you have a weakness face you, when it's right there in front of you, you can manage it. You can change it. You can identify it. You can look at it. You can analyze it. And you can say, you know what? This isn't so big. This isn't so bad. I have the ability to overcome this. That's what it's all about. People have weaknesses in every area. They have weaknesses socially. That could be with relationships. It could be with their um, children. It could be at work. It could be with their spouse. It could be a relationship with themselves. It could be a relationship with their creator socially. It could be physically. It could be with their body. It could be with their 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 house with their money. Those are all physical manifestations of weaknesses. It could be mentally. Maybe it's something you don't know, you don't understand, you can't, you don't believe in yourself. Okay. It could be mentally. Or it could be emotionally. You don't, you don't have enough faith in yourself. It could be that you don't, you're not stable emotionally, or that you get upset, or that you hurt feelings, or something like that. We all have weaknesses, and it's usually in one of those areas, and we're going to identify those weaknesses in each of those areas, and then improve those. But today, I need you to build up your own self-confidence, and the way we do that is we say who we are. We identify who we are, and we say it, and we think it. 
So the way that works for me is I would say, I am a son of royal birth. My father is king of heaven and earth. My spirit was born in the courts on high. A child beloved, a prince am I. You see, if I recognize that I am of royal birth and that my father, who, who created all of this heaven and earth, all of this, he created all of this, if he's that powerful, how powerful can I become? Because he's my father, I can become like him. So that's what I believe, that's who I believe I am. And if you're female, you would change the words to be a princess and a queen. And you, that was, that's a poem by Anna Johnson. You can Google it or I'll link it below and you can click on that link and look up her poem. And there, there's more verses in that and it's amazing. You can say those types of things to yourself and declare that to yourself and build up your own self-confidence. If you will do that, if you will build up your own self-confidence, then when you propose, when you find your weakness, you're better able to manage it because you're a stronger individual. So today what I would like you to do is declare who you are, identify who you are, and then say it and imagine it. Okay, so we're both we're using both sides of our brain, our visual and our perceptual sides of our brain. Well, that's the same thing, our intellectual and our perceptual sides of our brain, which is uh, our, our verbal and perceptual. My goodness, I'm having a great day. So what I'd like you to do is to say it and see it, and then act it and believe it. If you act like a child of royal birth, you have the potential to become a child of royal birth. A king, if you imagine a king or a queen, then you can become that. And so that's the first step, is to imagine and say it. And yes, this is an assignment. I'm assigning you to say it. I am a child of royal birth. My father is king of heaven and earth. My spirit is born in the courts on high. A child beloved, a prince am I. Of course, I said that wrong because the spirit was born in the courts on high. And, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, but for you, it needs to be what you believe. And that's what I believe. But find what you believe in yourself. Find your potential. Find your... Don't, don't say, I am a child of a monkey. Don't say that. That's not going to work. Don't say, uh, I have evolved to be something from an amoeba. Don't say that. that. That's not empowering. Do something empowering, like greater than you not something less than you. And become something greater than you. Don't become something less than you. Whatever you think you came from... Okay, that's a whole nother story. But, my name is Keith Arlen Allred. I'm an empowerment coach. I empower people to have better relationships, better manage of their time and resources, to become creators of their future. And I want you to create yourself to become the best individual ever and have the best life ever and to create the best future for yourself and for the loved ones around you. Thank you.